how can you identify a high return investment uh, this is a uh, real estate in kenya we are back uh, with ruben kimani I, I would like to highlight five good points for you to know whether this is a high or a low uh, return investment number one it must have a, a high growth potential uh, backed by fundamentals what i mean is uh, the reason we are so keen about real estate and plot of land in uh, satellite towns is because of two reasons these are uh, population growth um, and these are uh, urbanization the moment people leave their villages, they come to college, they're always looking for places where they can build for their families now or in future. Where do they settle? In our satellite towns near our cities. And that's where you'll find username investing. It means that those places will continue growing. And this is evident if you look at Thika Road, if you look at uh, Akina Kitengela, Kinasi Okimao, Gong, and now Nakuru and some other areas, even in Kisumu, they are appreciating very fast. So those are areas with high growth potential. For stocks and other investments, we have talked about stocks, bonds, um, money market, and many others. For stocks, for example, you have to look at the company, the books. Uh, is the company undervalued? What is the future of this company? Number two, you need to have realistic returns based on market condition. And one thing that you must check, the returns have to be higher than the rate of inflation, which is available if you check online. This is very important and it has to be reasonable. Not those people who are giving you 50% per annum, when banks are giving you possibly maybe 20%, they might be a scam. So ensure they are reasonable. Number three, they have, um, this high return investment has to be aligned with your personal objective. And that's where you start. What is your personal objectives about investment, about money? Whatever you are investing in, it has to be aligned with your personal objectives. Maybe you want to retire, you want to prepare for retirement, it is for education. Maybe you want passive income, you want uh, capital gains, you have to define your objective. Number four, the investment have to be regulated and this is something that affects many Kenyans. That's why you have pyramid schemes and uh, scams. Why? Because you invest in uh, a vehicle that is not regulated. Uh, for banks, you check in Central Bank of Kenya. Uh, uh, we have Nairobi Stock Exchange. You can go there to check the brokers. We have Capital Markets Authority and other government bodies. For companies, they are registered under the state law office. Number five and the last one. Investment reward has to be higher than the risk you are taking. And I've also said that you need to evaluate your level of risk. You look at what if this works. And that's what happens in business. We take a lot of risk because we check what if after doing our basic research. So you need to find out if the reward is higher than the amount of risk that you are taking. Those are just five among us, many others, and I hope you'll be able to invest and make high returns on any investment that you are making. All the very best.